Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is yet another new metal releases. This time it is for the month of November. I can't believe we're already in November of 2023. This year has gone by so incredibly fast. We've had some really, really awesome releases this year, and I'm excited to talk about the ones here in November. Now, you know the drill. If you've watched these videos before, I list out 20 brand new releases that may or may not be new to you. Some of them are well known and some of them are underground. So let's get started. The first one is a well known band. We know it is spirit box yes miss courtney is releasing a new record uh it's an ep actually it's called the fear of fear this is coming out friday november 3rd via rise records uh the vinyl for this the vinyl for this record is so freaking pretty and the cd is this nice like violet color i'm obsessed with it um they've released a couple singles so far that i know of off of this record including cellar doors and jaded i personally really liked jaded so i'm very excited about this ep next up we have insomnium this is a very surprising release considering they just released um on 1696 i think it was um in i think february of this year so this is an ep called songs of the dust you can pre-order it now there is a link in my description comes out also on november 3rd via century media records suffocation now this is exciting suffocation is releasing hymns from the apocrypha this is also coming out november 3rd is a very popular day this month this is coming out uh, via nuclear blast records very excited to hear modern day suffocation next up is mortuary drape they're releasing black mirror also on november 3rd via peaceville records if you're not familiar with mortuary drape they are an italian black death metal band sadis this is also a very well-known band they are releasing the shadow inside on november 17th via nuclear blast records i recently just did a reaction to sadis which you should absolutely go check out um very interested to hear what modern day sadist sounds like there's a lot of really popular bands that are releasing music this month that i didn't know of uh next up we have dying wish which is releasing symptoms of survival i'm excited about this release this is a portland oregon metalcore band they're releasing this on november 3rd via sharp tone records i really like sharp tone records they they have a lot of like metalcore and punk hardcore um, artists on their roster and it's just really cool to see a metalcore band from Portland being signed to them releasing something new I always want to support the metal community in Portland because it's pretty stellar so definitely go and check out Dying Wish next up is a death metal band from Belgium they are Carnation releasing a brand new album called Cursed Mortality on November 3rd via Season of Mist Records I'm really excited about checking this out honestly the album cover doesn't look death metal it looks very like black metal insomnium-esque but i'm definitely curious i really really like the artist on season of mist so i'm definitely going to be bookmarking this artist next up is the band reveal releasing still alive this is a brand new album coming out november 3rd via art gates records that's really hard for me to say um, but they are a heavy power metal band from spain and i just i want to say go check these guys out because i've done a few reactions um for art gates records and i was blown away by all three of their artists they are a phenomenal record label from spain think of it like uh, they're like a season of mist meets like century media, but for Spain metal, like it is so, so freaking good. Just give them a chance. I, I promise you, you will not be disappointed with a lot of the artists that they've got on their site. So again, that's reveal, uh, releasing a new album called still alive. Aeternus, I think is how you pronounce it, is next. They're releasing a new album called Philosopher on November 17th via Agonia 
Records. They are a black death metal band from Norway. Very excited about that. Crematory is releasing Requiem of the Dead slash Un consecrated ground these are two new singles that are coming out via regain records on november 17th uh and they're death metal from sweden this band looks very very cool so i'm definitely bookmarking these i love that they're releasing like two singles on the same day and they're kind of like back to back so i'm curious if they're going to be like flowing in together or if they're just two completely separate things i don't know the next band is called apocalyptica and they are releasing a live album called live in helsinki saint john's church this is coming out november 17th via odyssey music network Now, Apocalyptica, what intrigued me about this band was that they are mostly known for their um, instrumental covers of Metallica songs, but it's not just like instrumental with like guitars and whatever. It's instrumental as in like a full blown string section, as in like mostly cello. So this is a very string forward uh, instrumental band. Now they do have recordings with some vocals and percussion work but it is mostly just a full string section now uh, that intrigued me you know me if you've been watching me for a while i like string sections i love the cello i love the violin and i'm here for it so like i said they're mostly known for their instrumental cello only covers of metallica songs i'm not sure if that's only what's on this live album But anyway, there's a symphonic heavy metal and rock band. I will have them linked down below if this sounds up your alley. It definitely sounds intriguing to me. So again, it's Apocalyptica. Next up is the brutal death metal band Condemned releasing a new album called Daemonium. This is coming out November 17th via Unique Leader Records. This is their fourth album. They're from San Diego, California. And honestly, I just saw the album cover and I was sold. I was like, yep, that looks cool. I'm bookmarking that. Next up is a death metal band from Georgia. This is Alchemy of Flesh. This record, By Will Alone, is their second album. It's coming out November 17th through Redefining Darkness Records. And I, again, was super sold on the album cover. I'm pretty sure this is just a single man project, but I'm I'm really interested in it. Uh, both the album covers for their two records are just really, really cool. And this just looks interesting, but I'm also a death metal nerd. So I'm here for alchemy of flesh, honestly. Draconicon is next with their new album, Pestilence. This is coming out November 17th via Inner Wound Recordings. This is power metal from Italy. Plague Mace is releasing Reptilian Warlords via Napalm Records on November 17th. And uh, yeah, this is their debut album for Plague Mace. And (laughs) I have to say... So this is a Denmark death metal band. And if you're familiar with Napalm Records, like I love Napalm and they have some really, really great, great artists on there. Uh, And this just, honestly, it doesn't look like a release that they would promote. And I think that that's really cool. Like this album cover is just, it's fire. I like it. I love, I, I love it. I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. So Plague Mace. Reptilian Warlords. If this looks interesting to you, keep a lookout. It comes out November 17th. Next up is Beyond Grace. This is a death metal band from the UK. They're releasing this new album called Welcome to the New Dark Ages Part 1. It's releasing November 24th, so I'm pretty sure, girl, that's... Is that on Thanksgiving? Okay, no, that's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Um, But they're independently releasing this on Tuesday, November 24th. And like I said, they're death metal from the UK. I'm interested to see like this part one. Like it's, it's obviously sounds like their next release will be part two. I'm always interested in stuff like that. So that's what got me curious about it. 
Destructor is releasing Blood, Bone, and Fire also on November 24th via Shadow Kingdom Records. This is a thrash heavy power metal crossover band from Ohio. Now, Destructor's actually been in the industry for a very very long time they have it says on metal archives that they formed in 1984 um, but they've only got like four records so they definitely had quite a stretch of not releasing anything for a while um, at least based on metal archives not that that's a bad thing but i just think it's really cool that destructor has been around for a really really long time so i'm definitely curious to hear what their sound is. So once again, it's Blood, Bone, and Fire coming out November 24th. Next up is Serpent's Oath. They're releasing Revelation on November 24th as well via Odium Records. This is a black metal from Belgium. Sodom, this is going to be a, this is quite interesting. So for all of my collectors out there, if you're really into Sodom, they are releasing an EP called 1982. This comes out November 10th on Steam Hammer Records. Through some of my research, this EP, I think is like old rehearsal recordings or old demo recordings from like way back in the day before they even released their first demo because what i was looking on there was that they released their first demo i think in 1983 and so this being titled 1982 and it features songs from like their first record or so and like and others um that's what I'm assuming is it's like old rehearsal tracks and stuff like that and if I'm remembering correctly they're releasing it on limited edition vinyls and CDs um, but definitely if you're into Sodom if you're into kind of collectors stuff like that and rehearsal recordings this might be up your alley so again it's Sodom 1982 coming out November 10th last but certainly not least is plague writer releasing their second album intensities on november 10th via transcending obscurity records this is an experimental technical death metal band from the uk all right you guys that is going to do it for this month's new metal releases for the month of november 2023 let me know down below what releases did i miss what releases are you the most excited about? Uh, anything that you're you're a little skeptical on, girl? I have to say the ones I'm definitely the most excited about are Spirit Box and Insomnium for sure. Uh, but this this Apocalyptica record, like I said, definitely is piquing my interest. So let me know down below what you're most excited about, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.